so before we talk about evolution, we first need to check that the devices in your network are actually compatible to even use the evolution network. And you do that by having a look at the device here. So as you can see, my very top device, which is an RGB PWM4, you can see that it's connected to, uh, connected to my Cassan B network. Um, it's in mode classic, and its firmware version is currently 26.10. If it was not compatible with Evolution, I wouldn't be able to see the classic text. It would only display the firmware version and nothing else. So because I can see that classic text, or if I could see Evolution text, then I know it is compatible with Evolution networks. So as you can see, my Casam B network is currently using classic firmware. What we're going to do is change that to Evolution firmware. So there's a process which allows you to actually upgrade the network. And we'll go back into network setup. And at the bottom here we have upgrade to evolution firmware. I'll select that. Start. And it went through immediately. I think that was very quick, but if you noticed there was some text that said it was checking uh, the devices. Because I only have one device in this network, it's going to be a, a lot quicker. So right now it's applying the it's updating the devices firmware to evolution firmware, which is currently 31.0. And we're almost at the end now. So it's applied the firmware to the new device. We can now continue. As you can see, we have a new network uh, with the same name, but it's using evolution firmware. It's still using balanced mode. That's because we, we updated an existing network, but we could change that to better, for better performance if we want to. But because I have both internal and external devices, I'm gonna leave it as balanced. So I'll just select done to complete it. Update and network ready, so continue. So there's no going back now. Once we press okay, we're going to update to evolution. So it's now pairing my devices to the new network. And that's it, upgrade complete, done. So I now have a new network. If we go to more network setup, network settings, you can see that it's now evolution.